Hello guys, it's that dividend guy here. Happy Monday to my fellow investors. Apparently today we took a hit. <laughs> I haven't looked at the market. It's a little later than I normally record, but that's just fine. Let's take a look at how the portfolio is doing. So we are down about $119 today. For the week, we're down $216. For the month, we're still up $260.31. For the three-month mark, we're up $2,036. Or $2, For the year, we're still up $2,800. And overall, since I started investing in April of last year, we're up $2,300. So the day we're down, all time we're up. Not a big deal. Let's take a look at the individual stocks and how they're performing. Let's see who lost us some money today. All right, so today Altria is down 50 cents, so we're down $49, almost 50 bucks today on my 97 shares, but overall we're up $449. So today we're down a bit, but overall we're still up on Altria, so not too big of a deal. Coca-Cola, we have 17 shares. Today we are down about $1.36, but overall we're still up $70. AT&T have 62 shares. We're down $12.40 for today, but the total return, we're up almost $500 at $492.30. For AbbVie, uh, I wish was, I, the funny thing is the two that I want to go down are not going down. <laughs> uh, we have 60 shares of AbbVie. We're down $42 today, but we're up over $976 total. For SKT, Tanger Factory Outlet, uh, we have three shares. We're down 93 cents today, down about 41 cents overall, which is phenomenal. That means that uh, if I buy it, I buy it at a lower price than I originally purchased it, so that's great. Walgreens today, we're down 11 cents. Overall, we're up $4.31, so a 7% return on just that one share, which is phenomenal. Next, we have ExxonMobil, uh, 69.58. We have 29 shares. Today, we're down about $9 overall. We are down 13.70, about 5% loss there. Not a big deal. Again, just like I said with Walgreens or SKT, uh, we could buy... Oh, sorry, just like I said with SKT, we could buy it at a premium for uh, ExxonMobil. Uh, then next, finally, we do have Target at 10 shares. Uh, we're down 320 today. But total, we are up $412 or 47% on that investment. So overall, we're doing pretty good. Not a big deal. Not too scared about it. You know, it's just how it goes. Up and down days in the market. For the watch list, I did get rid of Macy's, and I did get rid of um, another stock. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember. Uh, Levi's. So I got rid of those two because uh, subscribers were totally right. I looked into it. The financials aren't very good for Macy's, so not much of a loss there. But I did add U.S. Bank because that's where I do my banking, and I want a financial stock. I do have American Express. Happily will own that stock when I have enough cash to be purchasing it. But I do want a cheaper option in the banking sector in the 36912 option, I believe. That one might be 15710. Uh, I'm not I don't remember exactly when US Bank pays. But I added it. It does have a 2.8% yield if uh, Robinhood's correct. It is undervalued according to the market. I usually look for 15 PE. It's at 13, so it's at a good uh, it's at a good PE currently. So other than that, I think that is uh, all of the update you guys need for today. Everything else has stayed the same. Uh, I'm trying not to switch out my stocks too much, but, you know, I gotta, gotta keep it pretty consistent. So, <laughs> say goodbye to Macy's and Levi Strauss, uh, off the watch list, and, uh, real quick, I'm gonna take a look, because I haven't actually looked to see when I'm getting my dividend payments for this month. So, as you can see, I got paid by Coca-Cola, I got paid by, uh, Walgreens, Target, and ExxonMobil, that was this month of December. Uh, for the next month, I am getting paid for 90, all 97 shares of my Altria uh, holdings. Uh, all my shares are accounted for at uh, 81.48. So that could easily go back into, say, uh, I believe at least one share of... Um, yeah, I can't buy two shares, but I can buy one share. So that, that that's a goal of mine that I can buy one more share of that, or I could put it into another, a newer stock, another stock at 81, uh, that could get me a share of realty income or a share of, uh, VTR kind of depends on what I want to do there, <laughs> but I'll let you guys know. I'll, uh, I'll reinvest it live when I get paid. What was the date on that too? Cause I, don't, I didn't look. 
January 10th. Okay, so in about, uh, give it a give it about a week, and I'll get paid a week and a couple days. So, uh, I also should be getting paid from, uh, Coca-Cola paid me last month, so I think I'm covered for Coca-Cola. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit subscribe for that dividend guy. <clears throat> We're down a little bit today, not a big deal. Uh, but with that dividend payment coming in on the 10th, I will reinvest into some Altria. Uh, and I'll keep the rest of the cash to just sit there and go into a different investment. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the subscribers I've been getting. I think I'm getting one a day on average, which is phenomenal. Uh, better growth than I thought we were going to get. And uh, the portfolio is down overall, but again, uh, that gives me some buying opportunity. So, not really worried about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will post another video tomorrow. Uh, keep your heads up. You know, some days we have red days. It's not a big deal. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, with another dividend investing video. Take care, guys.